Hello and welcome to this My Number Bank tutorial. This is a short video on how to create a GTIN 14 for your different packaging levels. GTIN 14s are numbers which can be used to identify cases and other items that won't be scanned at point of sale. You don't have to use them, you could just use your GTIN 13s instead. Some members, in particular suppliers of healthcare items, prefer using GTIN 14s as it means they won't go through their GTIN 13s as quickly and it means they'll be using a similar number throughout their packaging hierarchy. To create a GTIN 14, you first need to have assigned a GTIN 13 to the point of sale or base item, otherwise the option won't appear. Once you click create, you'll see a new page load which contains the GTIN 14 you can create from that GTIN 13. All you need to do is click on one of the numbers and add a description for what it will be used for. It's that simple. In the description, as well as detailing what the packaging level contains, ensure you add the quantity of the content too. Just to mention that GTIN 14s beginning with nine are reserved for boxes of variable measure things. For example, cuts of cheese or lengths of cable. So please don't use them for cases of fixed measure items, which is what most of you guys will be doing. Another thing to note is that GTIN 14s never begin with a zero. So if you encounter a 14 digit number that begins with a zero, it's simply a GTIN 13 with an additional zero at the beginning. This is perfectly fine. Some database fields and some barcodes expect a 14 digit number. So you need to pop zeros in front of shorter length GTINs to pad them out. For additional number bank support, please check out our other videos.